In this equation, we have CH3COOH plus MgOH2, acetic acid plus magnesium hydroxide. So before we balance the equation, one thing to note is that acetic acid can also be written like this. Same number of atoms, so from a balancing standpoint, it really doesn't matter. So we use the one that we have written right here. Count the carbons up, one, two, carbon atoms, oxygens, one, two, plus we have one here times this two. So four oxygen atoms, one magnesium, and hydrogen, three plus one is four, plus two times the one, two, six hydrogen atoms. On the product side, one, two carbons times two, four of those. Oxygens, one, two times two, that's four. And don't forget we have one here with oxygen, five oxygen atoms. One magnesium, for the hydrogens, we have three times two, that's six, plus we have two here, so that gives us eight total. I like to leave the oxygens and the hydrogens till last, so I want to balance the carbons first. If I put a two in front of the acetic acid, I have one, two times two. That'll give me four of those. I do need to update the oxygens and the hydrogens though. So now I have oxygens, one, two times two, that's four, plus one times two, that gives me six. Magnesium stays the same, hydrogens, three plus one is four times two, that's eight, plus I have two times the one, two hydrogens here. So now I have 10 hydrogens, and it looks kind of complicated, but really what I need to do is I need to get one more oxygen, and two more hydrogens. So if I just double the water, so let me update these numbers here. So now I have three times two, six hydrogens plus two times two, that's four. That gives us 10 oxygens, one, two times two, that's four plus one times two, that gives us six. And this equation is balanced. So it's kind of an involved equation but if you're careful and you count everything up on each side, you should be okay. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CH3COOH plus MgOH2, acetic acid plus magnesium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.